Welcome to Monday Morning Quarterback. I am your host, Youth One's Ryan Oliver, and today I'm very excited because I have one of the rising stars from the 2027 class, quarterback Trent Seaborn. Trent, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Trent, let's start here. You're a quarterback that honestly has been on my radar for a few years now, kind of since you were young. And I feel like fourth or fifth grade is when I actually first saw your film. And I even did a brief little write up on you. And I thought, wow, this kid has really good arm strength for like a fourth or fifth grader. And um, with development in time, I could see him becoming, you know, one of the rising young youth quarterbacks. And here we are a few years later. And I, I believe you're one of the rising stars from your class. You actually named to our next up watch list, but which identifies some of the rising stars from the seventh grade class. I want to ask you about the progress you feel like you've made in your game over the past maybe couple of years or so and how you're feeling about your game right now. Uh, I feel it really good, you know, but like I feel like there's always something to work on, you know, like I'm never satisfied with how how my work is. And there's always just something that, you know, it might it might be my footwork. It might be a route that I need to throw, but there's always something to keep working on. Absolutely. Um, you know, Trent. One of the things I've always looked at your game and I thought it was like, wow, okay, he has arm strength. And I feel like you've always had a natural comfort playing the position. I feel like that, that kind of when you know, see you at camps or see you on film, I feel like that speaks for itself. I wanted to ask you a little bit about that confidence. Uh, do you feel that self-confidence that at least I feel like I'm watching on the film and where does that come from if so? Yeah, I always feel that confidence, but not just in me, but in my team. And, you know, me and my team, we always help each other feel confident during the game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Trent, how long have you been playing the quarterback position? And tell me what you enjoy most about it. Uh, so I've been playing since I was four. Um, and what I really enjoy most about it is, you know, developing relationships with my teammates and developing those bonds and getting to know people. And then from the quarterback aspect of it, um, you know, I like the way the way the ball comes off comes off my hand when I throw it, the way it spins, the way, it, you know, the receiver catches it, it's all just, like, it's amazing to me. Yeah, absolutely. Trent, I know you're the type of athlete that you've been putting in work for, for years at this point. Like, from a young age, you've been dedicated to playing quarterback, and you're only, you know, in the 2027 class, so you got a ways to go before you even kind of get to where I know your goals are. Um, tell me a little bit about what drives that work ethic, and tell me a little bit about the work that you are putting in. And I'm not talking about, like, practice, but, like, your quarterback training and stuff like that. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I mean, it's, it's every day for me. Like, it, it's just it's just this fire that's lit under me that makes me want to work and achieve my goals for the future. And I always work every day. Yeah, absolutely. And, and can you tell me a little bit about, like, what you do in your training? Like, um, I'm sure there's all types of drills, but do you work with a trainer or anything like that to kind of hone your skill? Um, what are you doing? I usually work with my dad. Okay. But I also work with Coach Nalu Tonga Bailoa um, through the quarterback aspect. And he's really helped me develop my skills throughout my whole life. And not just even being a quarterback, but like with my dad, I've developed, developed like getting bigger and stronger for the right. uh, season. Yeah. Well, well, shout out to shout out to Pops and, and shout out to your trainer. Like that, that's really awesome. I think it's really cool when you know the young quarterbacks say, like, yeah, I work with I work a lot with my with my dad feel like you guys are building like that bond as a father son and you're working on your games so you're kind of doing both at the same time and um you know that that's priceless man like those are things you'll look back on as you get, get older and you'll really cherish those times you spent with your pops so I think that's really awesome um in your own words Trent what would you say your strengths on the field are in terms of your skill set um you know I don't I don't like get super comfortable talking about my strengths I, I like because I don't want to sound egotistical or anything like that. Sure. I, just let, I just let my play um, uh, show my strengths. But, like, if I were to say, I'd probably say, like, you know, reading the defense, um, the IQ part of the game, um, I think I'm pretty good at that. Yeah, yeah. And, I, you know, I, I love I love how quarterbacks can be so modest. I know you guys kind of practice being modest and putting the team first. And that's definitely important in terms of, like, leadership and things like that. But, you know, uh, here on Monday Morning Quarterback, I love to hype you guys up because that's what this plat this platform is for. Um, Trent, I, I, you know, I think you have great arm strength. I think you have great accuracy. I think you have great anticipation, too. And I think that's something you can keep working on. Obviously, there's room for improvement, of course. But um, I think that those are two, you have some great foundational pieces in your skill set to, to build off of. So keep going, man. I, I really think you're doing a great job. Um, if I've never seen you play Trent and I come to a game, what can I expect to see from you? Uh, 
I mean, when you come to see me play, I always give my all 110%. You know, I always, I'm energetic on the field, uh, very vocal when uh, coaching up teammates or, um, you know, being the leader on the field. So that's, that's pretty much what you can expect to see. Yeah, I want to ask you about your leadership. I'm sure, you know, being that you're a quarterback and you play quarterback, you know, a lot of your probably football life, uh, I want to know what your leadership style is. Um, is it is it more of a vocal leader or is it lead by example or a combination of both? It's it's definitely a combination of both. Um, you know, I'm all, I'm always positive, always encouraging my teammates, and also coaching them up, coaching them um, them up too. Like if they run a route wrong or if they miss a block, I'm not gonna beat down on them. I'm gonna show them how to get better on that particular play. Yeah, and and I think with an athlete like you, like the work ethic that you're putting in, I'm sure that 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 show you know that that's a good leadership example for your team you know to see okay if, if Trent is going hard outside of practice and outside of you know being here with us with the team and, and working on his craft like we you know we should follow his lead on the field so I think that that's awesome um Trent I want you to tell me a little bit about an area of your game that maybe you've identified and you say okay if I can do this specific thing better I can take my game to another level have you identified that area um, you know, I think it's just it's just all around. Like the like I said before, there's always something to get better at, get better at. And um, you know, there's I I work on everything, not just one particular thing. I work on everything that's included in the quarterback position. Absolutely, I think that makes total sense. Um, Trent, I got to ask you about this. Um, I think guys like you that have been playing, you know, especially at quarterback, you know, you've been playing since a young age, you've been working hard since a young age. I know you guys have big goals and big ambitions for yourself that you're kind of working towards in the long run. I want to know some about some, a little bit about your uh, short-term goals and your long-term goals you have for yourself. Um, you know, like as a team, um, I think short-term goals is just uh, winning the next game, you know, getting to the next game, beating the team, going to the next week, um, long-term goals is uh, developing those bonds with um, with my teammates and, you know, winning championships and stuff like that. Uh, I, yeah, I got to ask, you know, is the goal to play, you know, a college D1 type? Of, is that is that something you're... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely get into college, getting that education, um, uh, you know, uh, and then also after college, hopefully, if I'm blessed to get to the NFL. Absolutely. I, I think that that, uh, you know, it, it's uh, it's great to have those those long term goals. And you know, I feel like for athletes like you, it's like to get your education paid for is like that's that's, the, um, you know, education is priceless and, and knowledge is power. So even just getting, to, you know, even if that's just the goal, I think that that's amazing just to, hey, I want to work hard and maybe football, you know, isn't the end all be all. But if I can get my education paid for like that's that's amazing, you know, um, so that that's really awesome. I want to ask you a little bit about off the field stuff. What are some things that you like to do in your free time when you're not in school, when you're not playing football? What are some things you like to do? Um, I like to read. Um, I'm really into history and stuff. So I like to study topics like World War II and different stuff like that. Um, I also play the saxophone. I've been doing that for, uh, for a few years. And then something else that um, some of my teammates and friends make fun of me for <laughs> um, I really, I really like classic rock music. Okay. So okay. I like listening to Led Zeppelin and Rush, Pink Floyd, Rolling Stones, bands like that. But I mean, I get made fun of it for it, but I don't really care. Okay. I got two, two follow-up comments on the music. So first off, I used to play saxophone back when I was in like seventh grade. So I'm, I'm 30 now. So that, that was a while ago, but so shout out to you. Saxophone is a really cool instrument to play. Like I was really drawn to that when I, I was kind of forced to pick an instrument like back in school, like, oh, pick something for band or whatever. So I picked saxophone and I really liked it. I wasn't that good. So hopefully you're better than me. But <laughs> but uh, so shout out. To, that's uh, that's awesome. Shout out to you for playing the saxophone. Secondly, how did you get into class uh, into classical rock, um, Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and stuff like that? Because I feel like back when I was a kid, that's what a lot of like my peers were listening to. And you're obviously a lot younger than me. How old are you now? 12, 13? Um, 13. 13. Okay. So you're definitely, I mean, you're, I mean, a ways younger than me. So how'd you get into uh, classical rock? I'm curious. I mean, in car rides and stuff like that, my dad would always play it on the speakers. So I okay. kind of grew up listening to that. And that totally makes sense. I was, I was assuming that like your dad or an older brother or something like that had to be playing it because I feel like it's like hard to find like a, Pink Floyd these days, and then, you know, I'm sure you can find it on Apple or something, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like people are just playing that, you know, in your, that, but like, who cares if people make fun of you for it? Like, you like what you like, 
And um, those are those are classical you know, groups, so classic groups. So it doesn't even matter. So this actually leads right to my next question. This is a question I ask everyone that interviews with me for the first time. What is in your headphones before a big game to get you pumped up to go out there and make big plays? Uh, just like I said, those classic rock stuff. Classic rock. Okay, I got you. I didn't know if that was like on the way to the game. I'm listening to classical rock, but then when I get in the locker room, I'm turning on some like hip hop or something that's more traditional. Um, do you? Yeah. Make yeah, on the car ride, it's probably classic rock. I mean, I might switch to hip hop to kind of, you know, get in that in that mood, but it's mostly classic rock. I think that's awesome. You know, Trent, I asked that question and every, like everyone has a different answer. It, it's funny, like the most unique answers I get out of my whole interviews with hundreds of athletes I've interviewed is if, if I ask about what music you listen to, like I'll get the craziest answers, like just things you wouldn't think. Like, you know, I'm not that cl classic rock is not a funny answer but like people will just be like oh yeah I don't even listen to music or like whatever you think you're like really you're you're 13 and you don't listen to music like that's that's interesting but you just get the craziest answers so I think it's really cool but I think it's really cool that one you play the saxophone two that you're into classic rock I think that those are two like you know be you Trent like if that's what you're into that's what you're into you're a quarterback you're a leader so you know do you man and, and, and everything else will fall where it falls uh, Trent, I really appreciate you joining me on Monday Morning Quarterback. It's been a pleasure to get to know you. Um, so shout out to you for making our next up watch list too. Um, I, th I feel like you were one of the first athletes I put on that list. I remember when I was making, I said, oh yeah, Trent, he's on the list. So it's a real pleasure to get to know you and interview, interview you for the first time. And uh, keep working, man. You got a bright future ahead of you. Thank, thank you so much, Coach. Absolutely. This is 2027 20, quarterback, Trent Seaborn. Trent, thanks again, man. Thank you, Coach.